Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is uh, 6.30 a.m. On my way to go meet up with my guy Aaron and some of his boys. Uh, he invited me on a three mile run this morning, which I'm super excited about actually. I haven't ran distance in a while. Well, not that three miles is like long distance or anything. The, the longest I've done recently is two miles on the treadmill. And then the last time I was in Paris, I ran two miles while I was there. We're running three miles today. Really excited, really looking forward to it. Um, the meet time was at 7 a.m. I'm cutting it a little close because it's 6.40. It says I get there at 6, I mean, 7.02 or something like that. So I'll just send him a text on I'm, I'm on the way and hopefully everything will work out. But I'm excited to go run, excited to meet some new people. And uh, that's a beautiful way to get the day started. This morning I, I prayed, I read, and I'm really proud of myself because I spent time editing the next vlog. Well, which I guess is not this vlog, but the vlog from yesterday <laughs> I was editing this morning, uh, which was really cool. Like, I really just have been enjoying getting up early. It's been such like a blessing and such a delight for me lately, especially because I have something to do. I think when, when I have something to do, it's like, it's very easy. I tried like the whole early morning routine before in the past. And it's like, after I pray and read, I'm like, uh, okay, what do I do now? And you end up getting tired or wanting to go back to sleep. So now that I'm doing my daily vlogs and I like have something to do every day outside of going to the gym, it's like, oh, any type of downtime I may have after I spend my time on the word in the morning, I can edit, I go to the gym, clean up the house, like all those little things. Um, and it's just been so cool. I'm like really uh, uplifted through that and because of that. So today's Thursday, which means this is day four of getting up early and uh, yeah, just, just really grateful, man, really grateful. So I'm having a bit of a dilemma. I'm not sure what shoes to wear. It's not anything stylistically, just all function. I've been wearing these to the gym on the treadmill. The last time I ran those two miles, two in the same day, I wore these shoes. No problems. However, these shoes are definitely better for running. Yes, they're off-white, but um, as far as function goes and as far as running on concrete, these are probably better shoes to run in. I just haven't been wearing them, so I'm not sure if I should stick with what I know, meaning these more recently, or if I should switch into shoes that I used to run in and wear these. I'm going to wear these. I'm going to wear these. All right, just finished coffee, finished the run. We did three miles. It was like a run walk, which is cool. Like, I mean, I don't want to say it like that. We walked a couple times, but ran mostly. The pace was like a little under 10 minutes, which is slower than I would like. I like to keep like a seven and a half minute pace, um, but very grateful to meet new people, spend some time with some guys. Um, so yeah, huge shout out to Aaron. Really appreciate the invite. Daddy's home, home for me. Fresh out the shower. I'm trying to find my tripod because Tosh and I are about to shoot some content. Uh, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram or are familiar with my Instagram account, but bro, where's my tripod? Recently, I have been doing Outfits of the Week. It's like a photo series where I'm in the same spot. It's like me leaving the house, basically. And I take pictures of different outfits that I've worn this week, like I mentioned, all in the same spot. So I'm trying to find my tripod so that you guys can witness some behind the scenes action. But I don't know where it is. No, I remember the last place I used it. Bro, I cannot find my tripod. Look at this. That's my tripod. Man. I gotta clean up this office again. Every, every like two days, it gets like this. All right, guys, I'm in my first look for my outfit of the week photo series. We're doing all Levi's, the new Gweedy boots, which I love so much. So how this works is, I have my DSLR camera. I give it to Telsha because 
doing it on a tripod, getting the timing right and all that is a lot. It takes a lot. So I set the, I do all the settings, the lighting, shutter speed, all that I do for her. She knows where to stand at this point. It's the same thing. This is now our third time doing this. I will walk out of the door, in and out of the door a couple of times, just to make sure that I got a good couple of options of my poses and stuff. And she'll shoot all the photos. And then I'll go to my computer, edit them all out when we're all finished. Um, but I'll also like check and make sure that they're good and up to the standard. Um, but it's a little behind the scenes of how we get my content. It's usually Telsha and then vice versa. For all her content, it's usually me. And if I'm not shooting it directly, then I'm directing it for her with our videographers or photographers that we work with. I don't know, it's taking her so long because I gotta get my hair done in about an hour and a half. I have time, but she's tripping. She's over here taking her time. But if it was the other way around, I had to shoot her content. This would be a different story, but. Your laundry. My laundry, our laundry. So you want me to only do mine and not do yours? No, I didn't say that. So don't be talking about me. Oh, I'm so angry angry black woman first off i'm not gonna lie and perpetuate the idea that black women are always angry i'm not angry i'm definitive i'm direct i'm not angry and stop calling black women angry that's not gonna help and you're a black man you need to do better and your mama black so figure it out yes man first person shoot a mode we turn in your son to a funeral to the niggas that say they don't office you better be i typically like to go to my hair appointments with my hair detangled already like combed through but that's not gonna happen today obviously because i'm not getting back in the shower I just don't have the time or the energy. I have to edit vlogs and edit these pictures. I'm over here multitasking. Getting these ads out. I had to make a quick run to FedEx real quick. Whoops, wrong entrance. Took the bike, I dropped the package off. Like a savage, I'll be parking on the street, on the sidewalk. All right, guys, just got back home. I was on the bike, had to run some errands. I'm sad because I ripped my pants today so bad. Like, they were already ripped a little bit, like, yesterday or whatever. Like, I, I I'm telling you, I really have been wearing these pants a lot. These joints, look, they're about to go again here. Look, look at that. Bruh. And there. They're just, they're so old. So, like, they're just getting so thin. And it's just like rip after rip after rip. Like, so like I told you guys, this has nothing to do with the repairs that Science and Kindness did. They do an amazing job. I'm just going to send them back to them and tell them like, hey guys, I have more holes and I need more repairs. So that's where we are right now currently, even on the front. Like, like I showed you guys before, but it's just like this one here, this one here. And again, this is not any of the repairs breaking open. Like it's literally right above the repair, right above the repair again. And then I'm gonna have them fix this pocket up too, because this pocket is annoying when I try and put my hand in it. Probably I should probably do both of them. But like, look at that. These joints are just absolutely shredded. So <sighs> I won't be wearing these for a while, unfortunately. Literally my favorite jeans, but it's okay. They will live to see another day, and that's what matters. All right, I need to be editing a vlog so that I can get this out because I have a busy evening tonight. However, I am starving, and there's a lot to do in the house. So I started cooking. I got some vegan sausage right here. I got some pasta in there. Nobody may know this, but hummus with pasta is fire. Like instead of putting like pasta sauce or whatever, like I put hummus on mine sometimes and it's so good. Um, I'm gonna season this broccoli, put that on the pan over there for a little bit once the sausage is done and then some avocado to top it off. I wish I had like some, some tomato and onion also to put in there, but that'll do because I don't have any right now. I gotta put the dishes away. I gotta fold up the towels because we're doing laundry. There's so much. I'm just trying to do as much as possible because Telsha's sister Tara and her boyfriend Austin are going to come over to watch Shepherd this evening, which we're so grateful for. Um, because we have I have two events, she has one, she doesn't want to come with me to so the first one. So, the first one is an event at Maxfield, um, celebrating 
this brand called Namnius, which is an LA based brand. Shout out to Donnie. He's the owner and creative director of the brand. Uh, he's doing his first ever um, takeover at Maxfield. And they also did a collab with Horse and Booze, which is the jewelry brand that I wear. So Namias did a collab with them. I'll show you guys those pieces. Literally all the jewelry that I wear is from Horse and Booze. I'm excited to go and check out his collection. He showed me some of the drawings and stuff when we were in Paris. So I'm excited to see it actualized. He's already made posts and all that on social. So I've seen it, but I definitely want to see it in person. And then my horse and booze family is going to be there also. So inventory coming as I cook and clean. Uh, I don't know if he's going to put this in the video. Watching Carlos's vlog. Check out you guys know who that is. That's Jeremiah. But... My brand actually. So, <laughs> you know, check out, shout out to my boys helping me out. Yeah. But yes, watching Carlos's vlog, catching up. Make sure you guys subscribe, man. Oh, this man, Jeremiah, got us in here lifting 30 boxes. It's always tight when, like, the whole gang is creative, you know what I mean? Like, first of all, I was there, obviously, but I get to sit here and watch his, watch his vlog while I'm cooking, making my, making my, my dinner. Like, I started vlogging again because of Carlos, like, it's like, bro, I gotta get back on the, I gotta get back on my horse. And, um, and yeah, just like hanging out as often as we do and seeing him vlog and stuff, I'm just like, yeah, bro, I gotta get back on it because there's no reason for me not to. There's literally no reason for me not to be vlogging. There's no reason for me, for me not to be putting out content. So we back at it, baby. Let's say something. I got a soft scrub lemonade wine. And I'm in this deodorant. You're doing them, right? So you can stop using mine? Yes. Okay. Listen, me and Tara are not supposed to be on your podcast. You're the one that said you wanted to take over a whole day, and Tara's not able to. Now she is. <laughs> hey, girl. Hi. <laughs> Back outside, I go. Levi's jacket. B1 jacket. Vintage thermal. David and Goliath pants. Vintage belt. You know, I got the horse and boots on me at all times. Justin boots, Wilson hat, it's the fit. We out. Oh my God, back, back at, at it again. again. In the kitchen whipping, I'm rapping again. Whip it. Keep on playing. All right, guys, just got back home. Changing my clothes for the next party. Hey. Honestly, don't think I'm gonna vlog this next party. So, I mean, I barely vlog anything at the non event, as you guys can see. But that being said, I think this next one, I'm just going to enjoy it. And I can already kind of sense that it's not going to be that type of vibe where I'm going to be, like, on my phone vlogging. I'm going to call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all you guys' support. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.